One of the new features in the Optimize Press row settings is the ability to fix one of your rows to the top or the bottom of the page during the scroll. This is simply done by editing the row and then you'll see we have an option here for fixed row position when scrolling and you can choose whether this is top or bottom. So you can see I've set it on this row, this, this call to action row here. If we save and close this page, okay, so here's my demo um, landing page here. As I scroll on down, what you'll notice is a bar appears in the bottom. So here comes that call to action. You'll notice there it then becomes stuck in place. So it draws as the person scrolling down, you then get this call to action area appear across the bottom, which is stuck in place. And you can set that to be top or bottom. It's a very nice way to actually catch their attention and it's pretty much dismissible. They can't avoid seeing that um, call to action as they scroll on throughout the page. Now, one thing to note is if you're going to use these, we recommend you use them, use quite small rows. Don't have to be a big, thick row. Bear in mind the browser size and the device that the person is viewing your page on. So if, the, if this is too thick, this row, it will obviously overpower the entire page. So you want something quite small, quite a small piece of text and a small call to action button, even smaller than what we're showing here in this example would be good, just so it sits nicely across the bottom of the browser.